Right now, KNOE 8 News Live at 10. Your breaking news and weather authority. Well, April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and the Wellspring is offering training for adults. Good evening to you. I'm Jennifer Andrews. Gabby Ballou joins us now with more on what's going on. And Gabby, what can you tell us? Jennifer, the free training is called Stewards of Children, and it's offered through the nonprofit Darkness to Light, which teaches adults how to prevent, recognize, and react responsibly to child sexual abuse. If we can reduce the number of children who are abused, we can change North Louisiana. We can change our state, we can change our country, because the, the problems that children have after they've been abused follow them through, throughout their lives. We could really make a huge difference because one in 10 is too many. Ann Thompson works with the Youth Empowerment Program through the Wellspring, and she says the training focuses on five steps on how to combat sexual abuse in children. So the first thing you learn are the facts of child sexual abuse. You minimize opportunity. So that would be, think about where your children are in one-on-one -on -one situations with adults or other peers. The other thing would be talk about it. A healthy relationship with a child is one of our best steps in protecting. And then recognize the signs, which is interesting because sometimes there are emotional signs, sometimes there's physical signs, and sometimes there's no signs. Um, and then the last one is how do we react? According to Darkness to Light's webpage, some of the statistics show 1 in 10 children in the U.S. will be sexually abused by their 18th birthday. 93% of victimized children are abused by someone they know and trust, and less than 8% of child sexual abuse reports are false. Thompson says there are a number of resources available in the area for those who need help, including counseling and child advocacy centers. During the training, she says those participating will hear from those who have endured abuse to shed light on the issue. You see um, it's video driven and you watch six separate videos and it's people with lived experience and it's also uh, people just like us talking about what can we do to prevent child sexual abuse. Thompson explains why it's important to sign up for the training and to be informed. This gives people the power like okay we can do something about this. I can do something about child sexual abuse in my classroom, in my home, in my neighborhood. Give some skills that you can use, that are, you know, you really can use them. Thompson says the biggest takeaway from the training is that there's a responsibility when it comes to helping those who need it. It can be prevented. It's our job. It's our responsibility. We live in a different world if enough people knew how to prevent this. An in-person training will be taking place at the Lincoln Parish Library Event Center in Ruston on April 11th from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. A link to register for the in-person training course along with the virtual courses is available on our website at knoe.com. Jennifer.